Greetings everybody, Okami Games Online. Welcome back to more Danganronpa 2. Last time, we continued meeting with our new students. We met with Gundam Tanaka, the ultimate breeder. We met with Ibuki Miyota, the ultimate musician. We, meet, we met uh, Mikan Sumiki, the ultimate nurse. We met uh, Nakamaru Nidai, the ultimate sports team manager. Not even on a team. And we met uh, Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu, the ultimate Yakuza. And in this episode, we're gonna meet most, probably not all the remaining students, but at least hey. most of them. Hey, aren't you the guy who was squatting on the beach or are you burying your face in your arms? Uh, yeah. You are a boy, right? Hey, you gotta keep it together, you know? At times like this, it's the boy's job to keep the girls safe. Well, thank you so very much for being nice. How do you do? You're right. Yeah, yeah. Did you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see. I'm Mahiru Koizumi. I'll be counting on you from now on. Mahiru, the ultimate photographer. Alright, I've, I've taken some photography lessons before. I can get behind that. Sure. Mahiru is known as the ultimate photographer. She has a promising future as a photojournalist. I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a young photographer who has won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. The ultimate photographer, huh? Well, there is a camera hanging from her neck. I kind of assumed that already. Aww. Honestly, I'm a little relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Hmm? Decent? <laughs> well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can't tell if they're really ultimates or, like, just insane. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we can get off this island. I was worried things wouldn't go well. Get off this island? What do you mean? Huh? Huh? You don't know. That's what the stuff to Animal Usami was saying. After you finish collecting all the hope fragments that you earn by getting along with everyone, this joke of a school trip will be over, and we can all leave this island together. That's all we have to do, and we can go home? Is that true? Did she really mean that? Jeez. Hey, you should be paying closer attention. This is, like, really important. Hey. Well, Hajime, now you know this. You must feel a little relieved, right? As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave this island soon enough. So there's no reason for you to act so panicky. Even so... What's the reason? Why do we have to do something like this? I mean, to go through all the effort of bringing us here, so we can all live together and get along? It doesn't make any sense. What? I may not know why we're here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, then that's all there is to it. I'm glad. Overall, I'm glad. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Not a big deal. Really? We're told we're on a school trip without any warning, then we're taken to a place like this. And then we're told to forget about Hope's Peak Academy. Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Hey! Yes? Eh? You... Don't eh me. What about your introduction? I've been waiting like forever, you know? Uh, sorry. I'm Hajime Hinata. Um, it's nice to meet you too. Hmm. I see. Hajime Hinata, huh? Too bad. Sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made a mental note to remember you as unreliable Hajime. You better do your best. It's gonna be tough for you to change my mind. You better man up and try even harder to do your best. <laughs> I see you're whipped already, Hajime. I'm talking to both of you. You better man up and do better. Got it? Well, that was something, all right. All right, now I have to never talk to you again. Let's head into the hotel. Hotel lobby. I'm glad. Yeah, even the inside of this place looks grand, too. If this was really a normal school trip, I'd be smiling by now. But why are we the only ones in this hotel? Now, now. It's an uninhabited island. Can't be helped. For an uninhabited island, this hotel looks pretty well kept. It seems electricity won't be an issue. 
what in the world is going on with this island? And now to be mean and talk to the person that people don't want to talk to, don't want me to talk to first. Not that this is a bad character. Well, I wanted to introduce myself. Is that alright with you? An, int an introduction. Understood. I don't mind. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you. My name is Peko Pekoyama. It is nice to meet you too. The ultimate swords woman. Not the type of person you want to get on her bad side for. Actually. This dignified looking woman is known as the ultimate swords woman. It's hard to believe someone with a cute name like Peko Pekoyama could be so skilled with a blade. I heard she's a kendo master, and that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Well, there's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. It appears. If what the rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. It is necessary for men and women who live together to respect each other. Don't try anything inappropriate. I would prefer... Not to kill anyone. Kill? Isn't that sword on your back made of bamboo? Yes. Though it may be, though it may seem impossible to kill someone with this, a missing blow can be fatal. Well. Well, an aimed blow can be fatal too. I'll keep that in mind. And now the one everybody was waiting for, you. There's some girl playing an arcade game, and she looks completely absorbed by it. Hajime. Hajime, you haven't properly introduced yourself to her either, right? Yeah, you're right. She seems really focused on her game, but I guess I should try to talk to her. Um, excuse me. I'd like to introduce myself. Hey! Hey, Chiaki! <gasps> oh, sorry. I must have been... A little too focused on my game. <laughs> a little? Are you sure about that? Um... Let's see... Oh, right. Introductions. Got it. I'm Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. Video games are my hobby, and I'm a fan of all genres. And that line alone should tell nice you, to you... Why she's the favorite. Chiaki, the ultimate gamer. Definitely seems like a character that would ultimately have a personality that most people would like, but we'll see as we go. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you two. Yep. Yeah, totally. It seems like this conversation is going rather slow. <laughs> well, she is gaming right now. Well? It's more like... I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Like, I can't talk that well unless I've already prepared everything I want to say in my head. Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. She's still focused on her game, and she hasn't looked at me at all. She may be the ultimate gamer, but how could she play video games at a time like this? Someone's tired. You no, know, I... I won't deny that I can relate to Chiaki in a number of respects, just like the next person can. As for the restaurant... So this is the hotel restaurant. Amazing! It's enormous. We could easily hold a banquet here. It kind of has this tropical, open country feeling. Open? Even though we're stuck on this island? Are we really stuck here? What else could it be? Sorry. Oh well. Let's finish introducing ourselves first. Look, there are two people talking over there. That's right. I'm having a hard time because it's full of poison. It really sucks. Speaking of which, you'd be grave to use your mouth to suck it out. Poison? I see. Hey, do you guys have a moment? More than that, what are you two talking about? Whoa. Denied. Denied? Good day. 
Hello. It is nice to meet you. Hello. My name is Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you, too. Hello there. Why, hello there. You must be the new guy. My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. On the streets, I'm known as the ultimate cook. But could you guys call me the ultimate chef instead? It has more of a big city flavor to it, you know? Alright, Teru Teru. Ultimate cook, chef, whichever you prefer. <laughs> I hope we get along well. You give me that bad vibes. I'm so sorry. Oh, that reminds me. I have not properly introduced myself either. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting. My name is Sonia Nevermind. Sonia, the ultimate princess. Well, we do get some odd ultimate talents every now and again. <laughs> I am a foreign exchange student from a small European ki kingdom called Nova Selic. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along well. Same here. I hope we get along too. Force Lane skin. Sparkling blue eyes and her hair glitters like fields of wheat. It's like she has this mysterious charm that I want to gaze at forever. <laughs> Are you enchanted? Well, that probably can't be helped. She's known as the Ultimate Princess, which means she's actual royalty. The Ultimate Princess? Normally I'd be surprised to hear that, but... It's not just her beauty, she's just so graceful. I'm completely at ease, even though she's a real princess. Um... This may be rude of me to say, but truth truthfully, I feel happy. Huh? What are you happy about? I... In my home country, I... did not have a single friend my age whose standing in society matched my own. So, to be able to do something like this with everyone is a new experience for me. I shall praise you! I shall extol your virtues! Extol my virtues? Thanks. I suddenly feel the urge to drop to one knee and bow. Hey, you three. Am I being left off the menu or something? No, that's not it. <laughs> oh, Teru Teru. It's so like you to check out the restaurant first. As the ultimate chef, do you like it? <laughs> I would be lying if I say I wasn't interested. And since I do not want to be a liar, then truthfully... Yeah, I like it. Well, guess that's about it. Though I like the big city flavor of my hometown, a country atmosphere like this is also splendid. <laughs> hey, are you... Understand. Refined, cultured, guilty as charged. No, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? Worried? What's there to worry about? Actually, I'm really happy. Happy? Why is that? If I can get serious real quick. I have a sneaking suspicion that Miss Pecco is actually a bit of a freak if you catch my meaning. What do you think? What? Bonjour. She's probably wearing a black thong too. What are your thoughts on that? Why? If you know this, why do you know this? And if you don't, why are you talking about this? Now then, shall we discuss this somewhere privately? Come on, come on, come on, come on! No thanks. Well, putting that aside for now, this might also seem unexpected to you, but... I feel like Miss Sonia over there has a good chance of putting out. You see, everybody knows princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? Understand. For example, I could tell her my loins are full of poison, and ask her to suck it out. Is that why he was talking about poison earlier? Um... Pardon me. What are you talking about? <laughs> we'll discuss this later. <laughs> I better not see you try that again. Anyway, when I fantasize about stuff like that, I can't help but look forward to living on this island. <laughs> when it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient. Hmm? <laughs> This guy seems... dangerous. 
but for a completely different reason. Teru Teru, for better or worse, reminds me of a, uh, a friend I know. Whether it's for better or worse, I'll let you decide on that, and I'm not gonna say anything else on the subject. Anyway, that is everyone in the hotel area. And we're also level 4 now. Oh, I should check on my pet. So I have a feeling... Nope! Alright, well, for the sake of time, the ranch. Cadillac Ranch? That's bringing back an old, an old con story. I don't know, it's not super old, maybe like a few months old. This looks like a ranch. But there aren't many animals around. Right? And speaking of not many animals, hello. Ah, uh, you found it out. You again? Seriously, where do you keep appearing from? I... I can show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear anywhere on the island. It's all thanks to this handy dandy magic stick. Magic stick, huh? Is she talking about that toy she's holding? Still, I am quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. <laughs> you might want to rephrase that. Alrighty. Alrighty, just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. Bippity boppity screw you. More in jokes. That's something that happened. A huge success. What was all that just now? A chicken changed into a cow? That's not it. Nah, it's probably some sort of trick or illusion. I bet it was set up before we got here. She was probably trying to make us happy. But I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hajime. A trick? An illusion? Well, if you think rationally. It makes sense. A chicken can't just change into a cow. Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know? Because you can do that's something you can clearly do so casually. Alright, we've got another two students here. Yo! Hey, who are you dudes? It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Hajime Hinata. Gotcha. And who's this other dude? What? Huh? Haven't we already met? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I pretty much suck at remembering names. I met so many interesting characters today. I'm Nagito Komaeda. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo, the name's Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. Nice to meet you too, Akane. The ultimate gymnast. Well... Kane is known as the ultimate gymnast, and an all-around super athlete. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, where her athletic ability is off the charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. How self-centered. No matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason, so her performances must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic athlete. What? Huh? Don't tell me you... Unexpected. Oh, I get it. So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? Being really loud, I know you're doing that on purpose. An ass you are, Nagito. And who might you be? Squish, squish. Ah, Squish. That's my favorite ultimate student. What's this kid doing? She's sitting down and keeps pressing her finger on the floor with all her strength. Uh, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself yet, right? My name is Hajime Hinata. Mm -hmm. I'm Hyoko Sayanji. 
ultimate traditional dancer. She has to stop pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what's she doing? And her appearance and voice are so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually, Hyoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences. Which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. It's probably because she looks so young. Her fans probably all have the same niche or something. Squish, squish. Hey, what exactly are you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm squishing. Squishing what? Mr. Ants, duh. Mr. Ants, of course. I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ants. Come again? <laughs> you squish their tummies just right. It makes this awesome sound. Hey, you! Wanna do it together? Hell no. Oh, okay. <laughs> you wuss. This kid... Gratitude doesn't match her appearance at all. Well, that's... Another interesting face to add to the list of interesting faces. Alright. So I think... I think, and I'm going to be finding this out, actually yeah, we'll end things off here, so let's look at our uh, report card. We have met with everyone but one student, alright, so, I guess that makes this a good point to stop at then. Next time on Danganronpa 2, we're going to go meet with the last of the ultimate students. See you guys then.